Today, mashallah, you know, you're a big, strong, tall man, yeah? Life is very short. Now, the thing is that when you die, either there is nothing or there is no functioning right so they can survive if they don't, I'm not, uh, if they are not perfect, they will uh, die. So you only keep the, the best ones uh, alive. Mm -hmm. It's the same with animals and... Uh, no, but for, 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 for the universe, come back, coming back to the universe, oh, there so many mics. Coming back to the universe, the universe, we believe, scientists says anyway, it come to existence at one point at time. 13, 14 billion years ago, the time is quite irrelevant, it doesn't matter. But we know the universe came to existence at one point at time. Now the question we're discussing is, what can cause the universe? What, what can cause the universe? What do you think can cause the universe? No one knows. No, no one knows. Well, uh, what do you think? Is it, is it through by nothing? Well, well I, I, I can't answer that question because I wasn't there and I, I, I am not... No, but using your rationality and your... Uh, using, yeah, well, I, using think, I think the rationality of humans is overrated. We are very simple human beings, uh, simple creatures. We are not that intelligent to, to be able to answer those difficult questions. We, so we what happened if the, if the one that created that, that created the universe and everything that exists, what happens if he communicated with us and told us? Would it not be um, befitting to say, say, the creator has to communicate with us to tell us how the universe came about, why we're here, like our purpose to our existence, everything. If there was a creator, yes. There is a creator. So there, there is a possibility a creator can exist. Yeah, of course. Uh, of I, course. I cannot prove there's no creator. But I just don't believe there is one. But I'm not convinced. That I don't think it's necessary to assume that there is no, but you, you're saying two conflating uh, statements. At one point you're saying creator could possibly exist. And another one you're saying you definitely don't believe a creator no. exists. So which one is it? Are you say are you a hardcore atheist saying absolutely a creator no, doesn't no, exist? No, no, I, I just say I don't I cannot prove there is no creator, but I believe if I have to choose, I believe there is there is no Okay, yeah. so that's an active claim then you need to substantiate why you don't believe that there is no creator. The burden uh, can you at least prove why you don't believe it or, or why why there is no creator? Well, it's, it's the same with um, Look, if I if I see the moon, for example, I can I can say I can make a theory that this is something that's created by a thousand um, uh, Martian uh, guys who are there the whole night and they are making a big fire in the shape of a circle and they are doing it every night and sometimes the moon not a real circle but sometimes the moon are you talking about the moon right? but the no, moon but, but i can you can make you can make a theory about that I, you can say i believe these are made by thousands and one martians martians they are making big fires in the sky and they're doing every night for me and, and uh, no but unfortunately that's just that, that that doesn't even make any sense whatsoever exactly. that but that's what i'm saying so There's you're a, saying to yeah. you yeah. you're saying the moon, the argument doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Exactly. The moon depends on something. So we believe the universe is made of contingent parts, as you know, different parts. And all of them are dependent on something else. So going back, final, uh, going back, you can't have multiple dependent, independent things dependent upon each other. At one point, you have to have an independent thing that all things depend upon. So the universe, us is made of all of these things so it must have a necessary being where all dependent things yeah. depend upon I, I don't think so yes it is though but that's what science shows and that's what the universe says so we believe the universe has a creator and the creator that possesses all of the knowledge and attributes to cause the universe i believe it's possible without the creator okay how so well, how so this I, I, I believe but you're not possible, explaining I, I don't know of course how because I'm too simple person no but you have no a belief that's what I'm saying to you you have a belief at this moment of time and this belief is this belief this is that your actual belief is this belief and you cannot explain that 
Uh, you cannot explain how you come to exist and how this all of this beautiful universe come to existence and any argument given it to you you're just rejecting it because you're saying uh, the scientists know then does anybody know no one since you don't know does anybody know no, but I, I have no, no problem with not being able to explain it because maybe we can explain it in 2,000 years um, but I, no, two thousand years. No, it doesn't mean that. Two thousand years, we won't be able to explain as well. I'll maybe, tell you how. Maybe, maybe ten thousand. Do you think two thousand years science will uh, will able to explain it? Maybe. I don't no, no, no. I can tell you that for certainly no. You know why? Because science doesn't live with uh, uh, explain the metaphysical. Well, science only deals with the physical. So science will only explain to you how the tree function. Why does the tree function? And and they weren't able to tell you. So this is what I'm saying to you, and even how the tree functions or how the universe functions, it's a, it's a limited thing, it's a limited explanation. They would, at, at some point, they would have to guess, as, and they have to think, and they have to tell you, oh, this is what we think, yeah? So what I'm saying to you is, to get a firm belief, to come to a realization of a creator exists, you have to go back to the one that created, the one that created everything, and, and you have to look into what the creator has set out, so what I think is, what's your name by the way? Stuart. Stuart, I'm Noah. Nice yeah, to meet you, Stuart. We have to go. Yeah, yeah. what's your name? We are going home. So Stuart and Luke, father and a son, yeah? Yeah. Are you also in the same position as your father? Agnostic atheist? I don't want to brush you with the same brush. I don't with... about that, so... I say he's a Muslim. He's, he's, he believes that he's natural in, in atheist. Are you guys German? That's you guys. Yeah, so Islam is. Yeah, I'm sure you have mosque and in, in Holland, and I'm sure you can read it onto it. And and, and 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 I'll advise you guys to look at Islam because from the Islamic point of view, we, we believe everything is born submitting to his Creator, as I said to you. And the, you have enough. Uh, fantastic. Speak to them. Go to the local mosque. Read the Quran. I say to you, Islam has an answer to everything in life. So maybe you guys haven't been exposed to Islam, um, and maybe you're more into the scientific discovery in Islam. Islam is not against science, by the way. The Quran has a lot of scientific discoveries that modern day scientists have discovered, like embryology, many things I can tell you that, that were not known to 7th century men. So how did a man who couldn't read and write in, in, in Arabia, how did he know the sun and the moon and our circulation systems, water cycles and everything like like how babies are born, it would not, it makes no sense. We believe because the Creator has communicated with him and given him this knowledge, and hence that's what we've got. So Islam is the answer to everything, <laughs> to, to, to every aspect of life. And I want to tell you what I started off with our discussion, respectfully. We do have a purpose, and that purpose, is from an Islamic point of view, is, is to worship our Creator. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتَ جِنَّ وَلَيْنْسَ إِلَّا لِعَبِدُونَ I've not created mankind and other uh, uh, creation, nothing but worship. He's created us only to worship Him um, and to do good act. And then here, when we die, we have heavens and, and, we, and we receive all the good things. So what do you think of that? I, I don't think as a... You're a very a rational way. person, I believe. Yeah, I don't, um, I, I, I don't using your rationality and your, your faculties, is there has to be absolute capital truth. We can't be just wandered blindly, blindly, because then there's no there's no difference between us and and and, and atoms. Atoms. Yeah. If you, I don't. For instance, look, everything you wear, with all respect, sir, it has a purpose, even down to your socks. But I would say, say you're a lot more complex than your socks. So if the socks can have objective purpose, shouldn't you have an objective purpose? Maybe they're raising my kids, for example. But that's subjective. One will may else, someone else may come along and say, no, I don't believe in having children. Do you see? What I'm saying to you, to get away from that subjectivity, you have to go back to whatever created us should tell us the objective purpose. Would you at least agree with me today? It's only befitting to say, whatever created us should set the purpose, the objective purpose, at least. Is it, can we use that principle at least? Can we come to that agreement that it's only befitting to say if you want to find out the objective purpose, it can only come from the Creator? If there was a purpose, maybe, yes. 
but yeah, I'm but not sure if, if so you're saying we don't have, have you're saying we, we don't have objective purposes is that what you say maybe not no uh, I, well no not but everything around us has an objective purpose even your coat your your uh, um, uh, <laughs> your bag but then you're a lot more complex yeah, than your bag they are complex you or your socks me of course I, I accept that as well but then you're saying to me just listen to yourself and me as well you're saying the socks has a purpose objective purpose and that's to keep our feet warm to maybe stop them from blister and so on and that has a purpose on the other hand me who's a lot more complex than the sock hasn't got objective purpose does that really make sense We are not created, but just we are just there. Then it's up to you to, to find your own purpose if you like. But we are created. We, 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 like. we are created. We are we are yeah, complex. Yeah, we, are, we, we, yeah. we are we are. Yeah. No, but you are created. Do you do you, do here. you believe you yeah. exist? I believe yes. Of course you exist. So therefore you you have a rationality, logic. You can feel things, yes, and so there. you approve of your existence, isn't it? Yeah, so what I'm saying to you is using all of that, use what God has given you. I, I'm not expecting you to, to throw your logic and your reasons out the way. Suddenly when we, what we realized in this uh, high park is a lot of atheists or agnostic people, when they, every day on their daily basis, yeah, they use their rationality and when, on a day-to-day basis when they're working, they, they use their, their faculties. But when they come to speak, it's gone all of a sudden, all of that is gone out the window and they suddenly start questioning them. So whether they exist, whether simple things that people start saying, oh, because suddenly God is discussed. Suddenly they say, oh, and I believe that's being bit ingenuine. Do you see? See, so I'm saying to you, you can see your son exists. You know you exist. Just take the step to know what your creator said. And then see if it makes sense to you. Yeah, and 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 you come to a firm belief. I uh, I believe so. Yeah. Have you read the Quran or, or like any scriptures? No, I, I know some, some parts, but I have Quran at home. I think. You have Quran in Dutch or? I think it's in Dutch. Yes, sure. with the Arabic. Uh, have you ever read it? Parts, but yeah, it doesn't. What what doesn't, part can you remember? I don't, because the Quran is, uh, is, uh, is 114 chapters, yes, uh, you have some small chapters and long chapters and it talks about every, every aspect of life. As I said to you, some of the, 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 the uh, scientists have said, one scientist I can give you, a French scientist, said 80% of what's in the Quran is scientifically proven. 20% he said is ambiguous. You know the 20% he's talking about? Hell and heaven, something that you cannot put a, a, a scientific lab, uh, like a metaphorical, like dreams. These things you can't uh, defini defin uh, definitely prove into, into science. You can't clearly say these are scientifically proven because they, they deal with the metaphysical world, you see? So what I'm saying to you is, as I said to you, Jesus, Muhammad, all of those guys were and uh, came to tell us about God. And God, as I said to you, uh, uh, created us with the fitra, the innate disposition. So the basic tool is given to you as a child. But it was the parents that has changed you to different society. Were you always uh, like an atheist or agnostic, if I may ask? Or were you, you later on, later life? So you didn't grow up in Christianity? Well, I, I, yes, I Grew up, grew up in a Christian family. When did you? When would you socialize into or, or indoctrinated to uh, <laughs> to uh, to, uh, uh, to atheist? Because I believe it's a socialization or indoctrination uh, towards people. I don't believe, and and uh, it's it's not and it's it's not innate. No, I, 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 I just, At what part of your age, if I may ask? Uh, I'm asking you a direct question now, respectfully. And I want to be respectful to you. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying to you, obviously, you've grown up in a, a Christian household. Yeah, yeah. At one point, did you say Christianity is not for me, and I'm going to be an atheist? Um, and how did well, you I, even I become? I think I was around 10 years old, 
Well, I can tell you that. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, and I can tell you all other religions that say Islam would never make sense to you. I can, we can. We come here every week, by the way, falsifying every belief system out there, including the uh, agnosticism or, or, or nihilism, because I believe atheists lead you to ni being nihilist. You know what nihilism is? Is yeah, like literally being worshiping, not knowing nothing whatsoever. Uh, and and he actually leads a lot of people into and uh, how shall I say nihilism and suicide because obviously you cannot you and atoms are no different. You see, no, no. see. So and and it doesn't give you that objective moral stance and and you you have to justify everything. Some atheists come here and they actually justify an incest. They say there's nothing wrong with if, if me and my mother love each other and you see so. You know what's talking now? When you say I don't believe that, your natural innate system that the Creator has set up with you is talking, is rejecting that, and we believe that is ingrained with us. So the basic tool is given to you. All you need to do is now add more softwares and more, uh, more uh, up to date with the scripture. That's what you need. I haven't maybe explained in the best way, but um, in, in a basic level, that's what I, it is. I so Islam is basically submission to Creator, being just, being and uh, knowing why you're here, where you're gonna go, and and the good thing that your Creator has set up for you. So yeah, maybe this brother can come in as well. Salam alaikum. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah. 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 We, yeah, we have to go. Uh, yeah. 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 Not, but thank yeah. you so much for your time. Yeah. How long you're here in the? Oh, sorry. How long you're here in the UK? Now. Uh, Three days. Three days? Yeah. Tomorrow we fly back. Morning, so. Yeah. You have any mosques around your area? Uh, few. Uh, yeah. Yeah, few. Yeah. 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 But please may, uh, visit the mosque. Visit the mosque and read the Quran as I said to you. You already have a copy in your house. And give it a go. At least maybe today my discussion with you guys maybe has sparked you to read the Quran. Yeah. Get to know what we we are about because we're here. We believe human beings and are here for a reason, and we believe God will judge us. Thank you. Why are you recording this? Uh, this goes into YouTube just for educational purpose, so many more people can see it. I believe we had an intellectual discussion. Will I be on YouTube? Yeah, you be on YouTube. <laughs> famous. Famous. <laughs> I think what it does is do it helps a lot of. So we get people from Samoa, uh, from Australia, from America, who watch the videos, and it sometimes sparks an interest, and then they, uh, you know, um, have a further discussion. And so, uh, you know, as as human beings, we should wish good for one another. You know, you you would hopefully wish good for me. I would wish good for you. If you thought there was something that would potentially harm me. You would advise me, you'd say, look, there's something that over there, that there's a hole, there's a ditch, there's a cliff, don't drive there because, you know, you, you'll end up hurting yourself or your car or whatever. Now, similarly, life is very short, right? You know, you're probably your dad, is he your father, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, he probably remembers holding you when you were a little boy. Today, mashallah, you know, you're a big, strong, tall man. Yes. Life is very short. Now the thing is that when you die, either there is nothing or there is a creator that we return to. Either one of these, regardless of what you believe, is an eternal conclusion. If you die and there's nothing, it's eternal. There's, that's it, finished, kaput. But if there is a God, that's also something that we claim is eternal as well, right? So the gravity of that potential is so high that we should spend more time on that, contemplating that, than researching what phone we should buy, or what flight we should book, or what meal we're going to be served on the flight. You understand my point? But as human beings, you know, we get distracted. This world is a, a full of distractions. And we don't think about those things. But so our role really as Muslims here is that we just want to 
uh, remind people, as the Quran instructs us to do, is that look, there is somewhere else that we need to go. The reality of that, you need to obviously find out through your investigation. Through understanding, knowledge, reason, use your reason and weigh up the evidence for both. Because we as Muslims believe that there is a lot of evidence actually that you can point to and that you can look at that does actually point to the reality of an afterlife. Uh, but for most people, you see, they haven't seen that evidence, so they don't know. That's the issue. Yeah, it's nice meeting you guys. Yeah, nice to meet you. And uh, safe trip back. You can always ask us. Uh, if you go on YouTube, we have a channel called EF Dawa. E F D A W A H E F Dawa, okay. and we have uh, nearly a thousand videos on there. So, uh, and we do live streams as well. If you ever want to come on a live stream and ask questions, yeah. you don't have to have your camera on. It can be anonymous if you want to. Um, the, the, the discussion is started if there is a creator or not. Yes. Maybe you can just briefly explain why there has to be a creator. Well, very briefly, I would just say because I know you guys need to go, but. Everything we see has something that precedes it, that comes before it, to give birth to something. And we know that the universe exists. Now, either it has a material birth to it, or immaterial. If it's material, it needs an explanation. And you cannot have an infinite series of explanations. Because you can never traverse an infinite. But I, need, I know that you guys are in a hurry, you need to go. But it was, it was nice to speak to you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care, yeah? Nice have a nice day, yeah? Yeah, have a nice day. Enjoy the lovely English weather, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Bye -bye.